Hi, my name is Jamie Mickelson. I'm the uh, costume designer for the Red Project. Having not been involved in something, I guess, as big as this before, Darren and I met and we had a number of meetings where we sat and put concepts together and Darren had given me a briefing on, you know, the, we're going to have five lumberjacks and there's going to be these particular characters and I got handed those drawings and said, this is the ideas and Peter Sims was very involved in that as well. So I had concepts of what I was achieving, but I, I was, uh, we were a little unbeknownst as we went in as to how it was all going to happen. The red suit, originally the plan was to have three versions in total. So that's the battle suit as it became known. I did a prototype out of just cotton at one stage and we tried all that on Tamara and got our concepts right about that because there was um, issues about the way it was going to move during the fight scenes and things like that that we needed to get clear and that was vital because of the length of the movie that we got things right. We started with this concept thing too. So we started with that and we didn't end up with those there. We ended up with lacing instead because it looked better. She had a fairy tale costume, which was her white and burgundy outfit, and the actual battle suits themselves, there was three of the vinyl versions, there was five of the shirts, and one set of the lower leggings, and the one pair of the boots. But on top of that, there was also a version of the shirt where um, Red appears with um, slashes to her back, and so we needed an open shirt for that and we also needed a different version at one stage for it there to be um, slashing at the neck. I know that at one stage I did do a rough on how many hours I'd spent on uh, the battle suit and I calculated that I had spent over 100 hours on them uh, because they had taken seriously large components of eight hour blocks and I worked out how many of those I'd done. And, and a lot of the time as I was sewing away crazily, the main thing in my mind was that two of the versions that I was going to make were going to end up being destroyed <laughs> and slashed and broken to appear on screen. So that was probably a concept that I had difficulty with. But um, how many metres of fabric? Um, each of the red capes has at least five metres of fabric in them. Um, both the lining and the outside because they are very full but on screen they look awesome so the green cape uh, for Genevieve has that much fabric in it as well and it is extremely heavy it's out of quite a heavy fabric and I did warn Pia when I put it on her the first time to stand up straight and brace herself and I think she thought I was joking but it is a really heavy costume um, but again on screen it moves beautifully that was its intention. These are actually uh, uh, Red's fairy tale outfit shoes and there was a lot of trouble sourcing a pair of white shoes for her. And when I got out to uh, the shoot on the first day, I was handed these shoes which were not white and I was in handed white tape and hence I uh, took to taping shoes as well. So I took on another level once again. The two girls skirts for PR and Tamara, Red and Genevieve, they're actually sheets <laughs> from Savers um, because you can buy white sheets and cream sheets and we just matched up the colours for the rest of their, co their costumes. So, and it's, I hate to say it, it's actually cheaper to buy fabric that way. Apart from that, the, there wasn't a lot of fabric bought because a lot of our costumes for Red have been built from previously made clothes. We went to Savers, um, all the lumberjack shirts have had their placards and buttons taken off and their collars taken off and um, turned inside and seams sewn up and lacing put onto them to change them. Although all of them look different from each other, so that was concepts we had to come up with with how are they going to look different from one another. When we finally got that battle suit on her, the number one battle suit that she was going to have, and it was going to be in its pristine form, and we put her red cape on over the top of her and see 
all my hundreds of hours of work, that was that was an amazing moment. I, you know, it, that whole the red cape needs to pop in comparison to the rest of the costumes and all that sort of stuff. It was that was just like yay, we, we've achieved the outcome here.